Students and teachers drawn from learning institutions in Samburu Central Sub County and its environs raised 300,000 shillings after a six kilometer charity walk. The money was handed over to Kenya Red Cross Society Samburu County manager Maurice Onyango, who said it will boost the emergency kit. As Kenya Red Cross, you realize that when disasters occur, most of the institutions and even the community expect us to be there. In Kiambu County, Juja MP Francis Munyo is appealing to the Ministry of Lands to urgently issue title deeds to schools and public utilities within the constituency. Munyo said that land fraudsters have wreaked havoc in the area by targeting and grabbing public land which they sell to unsuspecting Kenyans. Hakuna mahali kuna taito, hiyo ndo inafanya ni kue mkali sana na mamba za taito ya za juja. Still in Kiambu, residents of Como in Thika East took to the streets to protest deplorable state of roads in the area. The locals who barricaded the Como gave them a Kangoki road, paralyzing transport accused the county government of failing to recarpet the road, despite taking hefty levies from lorries ferrying building stones from quarries in the area. Elsewhere in Wasingishu County, police in Eldoret have arrested a 26-year-old woman who stabbed and killed her husband. Eldoret West OCPD Zachary Bitok says the woman identified as Melissa Muhindi killed her husband Geoffrey Masheshe and stashed his body in a gunny bag. She was caught by neighbors as she tried to dispose the body. Meanwhile, Kenyans can now fly to Nyeri County from Nairobi at 3,000 shillings only. Speaking after the maiden flight from Nairobi that took approximately 20 minutes, Information and Communication Cabinet Secretary Joe Moshero said the government seeks to expand such services across the country for the convenience of all citizens. It's taken us uh, a while. Several of us uh, last year, the year before, we were asking why is uh, Nyerifo airport it's done but we don't see it being used the way that it should this is something we've discussed at the national government with the president what can we do and so we've been trying to investigate what are the ways that we can actually make this uh, airport fully operational and environment conservation groups in Kilifi County want to be involved in blue economy projects aimed at enhancing their way of life. The locals who largely engage in mangrove conservation at the Watamos Meda Creek intend to boost their ecotourism and agritourism projects by engaging in activities that advance the global conservation on the sustainable development of the blue economy. Finally, Moranga woman representative Sabina Shege has come to the aid of an 86-year-old visually impaired granny who lives in Kimadi location of Kiharu constituency and whose plight was highlighted by KBC Channel 1 last week. Officials from the MP's office visited Betinjeri and donated foodstuffs and other non-food items. Shege has also promised to assist Njeri get medical treatment for an undisclosed ailment. Felicity Gitonga reporting for KBC Channel 1 Weekend.